Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video. I'm not in a vlog, I'm sitting down. I hope you guys are having a good week. I was gonna do an August favourites and basically realised that one, I haven't done the favourites for ages, and two, all of the things that I was gonna feature are clothes or shoes, and I've collected them over the summer. So I thought, why don't I do a summer favourites of all the things I've bought over the summer, which handily are probably now in the sale too. <laughs> My first item is something that I love because you can pack in your suitcase and it doesn't get creased. This is a cropped shirt. It's kind of a box fit and it's got then like a little granddad collar around the front. I just loved it because of the pattern and it's a really kind of like almost like a masculine box cut. It doesn't do anything for my figure at the top whatsoever. But I really like it. It's super relaxed. It's quite low cut but I kind of like the fact that it's like a relaxed summer holiday top. It is by, I actually got it from ASOS but it's by a brand called DRA Los Angeles. I got it in a small, I'm a size 10, so it's baggy on me, but it is supposed to be baggy fit. I just love it. It's just something that every time I've gone away, I've thrown it in my bag, and hopefully I can then wear this into autumn as well. So it's just a really good multitasking top that I have absolutely loved. Okay, my <laughs> next is actually a jumpsuit. It's an off the shoulder, frilly jumpsuit which my dad called me Andy Pandy in when I wore it on our family holiday which was nice but it has clock trousers. I bought it because I just wanted something quick and easy to put on on holiday that I could then go out in the evening with. There is a brand called Faithful which has like amazing holiday wear. This is actually from ASOS, it's not Faithful. Faithful is slightly more expensive and I was looking for something to kind of replicate that so I thought this was a really good, I don't know, dupe of that if you want. Also it's got kind of like a cinched in waist so it does actually give you a waist which is always, always good. My next item, I actually did a boomerang of this on my Instagram when it was Steve's birthday, and it is an off the shoulder. It's kind of like got that 90s top ruching, but it's got an off the shoulder, it's got really cute little cut sleeves, and then it's just cheesecloth material that's super floaty. I absolutely love these. Urban Outfitters do them in like loads of different styles. So they do like blue floral, there's a red one. I picked up the orange just because I thought I might get a town on holiday and it would look really nice. It's a really, really good holiday dress. I'd really recommend this. My next item is actually a dress from Brand Attic. It is a cold shoulder dress with frills and it's gingham. This is one of two pieces of gingham things that I own. It has like bell sleeves which are then frilly down the edge and then it's got the cold shoulder and then it's literally just an a-line dress especially for the weather at the moment in the UK where it's like is it gonna be hot today is it gonna rain today I'm not quite sure this is a really good dress for now my next dress is a favorite of mine I actually wore it Steve did a video recently and when we were in France I was desperately looking for a sunflower field to take pictures of this dress in but I didn't find one it is this dress from Urban Outfitters it is a massive dress it's just got so much fabric to it but it hangs almost a little bit slouch but I just love the sunflower pattern. It's also a slightly like silky material. It's not like a cotton So I just really liked it. I thought it was really different and it also kind of reminds me a little bit of dungarees But in a dress form so I really like that and Have just been twirling in it ever since so my next items are actually trousers These are a pair of trousers for when we actually went to Africa when you're on safari You have to wear neutral colors So I was kind of looking for something that had a little bit of style to it But still obviously was practical for safari and I found these in Topshop and they are high-waisted cargo trousers And then they've got this kind of thick belt at the top that you tie in a bow I wore these every day when we were in Africa. They're like a thick cotton, but still really breathable so yeah, they were super comfortable and if you are going safari or even are just looking for a different pair of trousers that aren't jeans, I'd really recommend these. My next item is actually something that I featured quite a lot. These are the Free People Colots that I have bought. I bought them way, way back when we were in Miami and I haven't taken them off this summer. Also, I'm super surprised because I've worn them so much and there's only a couple of times I've spilt like chocolate on them or something like that. So. I am pretty pleased with myself and they have been through the wash a lot. They are a Colot style jean and I thought they'd make me look really short but they don't which is awesome and they've also got kind of like a little rose gold button at the top which I just really liked. They are from Free People 
and unfortunately free people do not do the white ones anymore however they do do black and they do do kind of like an indigo darker denim which i think is awesome for like going into autumn and winter if you're looking for a different style of jean like i'm five foot two and they still look good on me and they still fit nicely so i would definitely recommend these just because they just I think they're just really cool and I really like the frayed bottoms as well. My next item is actually a bikini. I am not going to model this, surprisingly. Literally, I don't know what it is. I think River Island takes into account that girls have hips and sometimes you get a buy a bikini and it kind of dicks into your hips and it just drives you insane. But I found that River Island, they design their bikinis with people who might be slightly curvier in mind. So these ones are the Bardo styles. So basically the top is like this and it obviously goes over your arm and then you can also, what I was doing is slipping it out of my arms and then just having it like a little bandeau top so if I wanted to swim or something I wasn't restricted. It looks really nice on and then the bottoms you have the same style of like ruching and then obviously go around your hips. I just think it's really flattering, it doesn't dig in at all, it's not like a string bikini which you're like this does not suit me. So my next item is actually a pair of pyjamas. I went to a blog event a while back now which I've actually got a blog out about and I featured these pyjamas in them and I wanted to give them a mention just because I've been wearing them the whole summer and I think that they are super comfy but also they've got a really really nice pattern to them. So these are pyjamas from Yawn and I have got the short set which is great when you're kind of hot. These have just been really great. I wore them in Africa. Yeah, I, don't, I can't really say anything about them apart from if you're looking for a nice pair of pyjamas. These ones are, I think they're called the Climbing Wisteria or Wisteria pattern. I'll put the link down below obviously. So my next item is actually a pair of shorts. I got these from Brand Attic right at the beginning of the summer. I prefer shorts that are slightly longer and I find it really hard to find a pair of shorts that I Either like that in between phase where they're not they look like board shorts but they're also not hot pants and I found some so these are from Brand Attic and they've got a really nice little embroidery on the side so these are a size 28 so I'm either like 27 or a 28 depending on what shop it is and I went for a bigger size just because I wanted slightly like wider legs yeah if you're looking for a pair of shorts that are slightly longer these are, yeah, one of my favourites. My next item which I have fallen in love with, this is a jumpsuit, which is a clot jumpsuit, and then it's, I don't know how to describe, it's like a corrugated material, but I know that that is not the word for this material. I wore it to our friend's wedding, our friends got married in France. It was just the perfect jumpsuit to wear that day, because it wasn't like, the wedding wasn't overly dressy. I just think if you're going to a wedding at this time of year, and you could have it with like a little jacket, and some really nice like nude or black shoes, it's just such a winner. So this is from Warehouse. I got it in a size 10. It's just really comfy. Also, you don't have to iron it. This is literally straight out of the wash and it looks like this. So that is also a great point. So my next few items are actually shoes. I'm allergic to bees. So basically when I go away on holiday, if I get out of the pool, I have to be in flip-flops and if I go on grass, I've got to be in flip-flops because I would ruin everyone's holiday if I had trodden a bee and then had to go to hospital. I actually picked these ones up from ASOS. They are jelly sandals, but they look like Roman sandals and they also do a gold pair now with a white sole as well. I have lived in these. They are just really, really comfy and also waterproof, so you don't worry about going to like the showers or anything like that. And also, if you're kind of like walking distances, the fact that they've got a strap at the back is a bit of a lifesaver. I love flip flops, but sometimes I'm just like, if I keep flip flopping around and these fall off my feet, I'm just gonna be really annoyed. So these are a really good kind of like alternative to flip flops, but you're not wearing children's jelly sandals. So yeah, winner. My next pair of shoes are a pair of shoes that I actually picked up from Zara in New York. They are just really beautiful, I'm kind of in love with them. They're espadrille style and then they kind of tie up around your leg. I love the fact that they're black and white and I've managed to keep them pretty clean. I've walked miles in them and haven't really had any complaints at all. So they are just a really nice, not too casual pair of shoes. So yeah, these are a great holiday shoe slash I don't want to accept that it's not summer anymore shoe. These shoes are Melissa, which is kind of, they do Melissa do kind of jelly shoes and then this is a collaboration with Vivian Westwood 
Years ago, I had a pair of tortoiseshell ones that were basically the same as these. They smell amazing. So these ones have a heart and a wing. They obviously join together like that, which is so cute. They are rose gold and then black. They do them in other colorways as well, but I just really like these ones. And the ones that I had before just had a heart on them. They're super comfy and I just think they're such a nice alternative to just normal standard flip flops. My next pair of shoes I actually bought a couple of summers ago, but I wanted to include them because they are from Topshop and they're like got a little block heel and then they've got a strap that then straps up the top of your leg. Topshop do basically the same version of this, just kind of like an updated style this, this season. I love these, I just think that they are the perfect summer sandal. So they're all my summer favourites. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video and it's given you an insight into what I've been wearing this summer. Thanks so much for all your support on the Africa vlogs. I absolutely loved editing them. It was so nice to look back at memories from the road trip. And if you haven't caught them, definitely go catch them. It was just basically me and Nicole Eddy laughing and some wild animals too, which is awesome. So yeah, so, I hope you guys are having an amazing rest of the summer and I will see you next week for another video. <laughs>